my fellow chatterers and hopefully readathon lovers and anyone else who's popped in because you're curious about what on earth this is or you're just lost welcome anyway i'm chatty and welcome to my channel chatty the mad chatter where i am going to be chatting away madly about wrapping up the readathons i've been doing in june this was supposed to be tacked on the end of my wrap up what i've been reading over the last over the last two weeks of june so week three or four but i spoke too much <laughs> and I also know I'm probably going to talk a lot about this, so it's got its own video now. Here we go. We're at a bit of a weird angle, but we're working with what we have. My prompts down here are slightly all bent because this is my wardrobe. And it is not working, but it does. It's a slight, there we go, slidey door. So um, I put it all up, went to get something out here, totally forgot I've got a load of paper on here. So I'm trying to uncrease it so it's looking a little bit tatty. <laughs> Anyway, let's put us all out of our misery by just getting started on this video. So as always, it's one shot, there's no editing, we're just going for it. So cheers everyone! Let's do this! So the first readathon I'm going to be talking about is Whateverathon. This was a month-long readathon created by Maddie from the channel Book Browsing Blog. It's a pretty well-known one. It basically means you can read whatever you want, but if you want more information, all of um, the announcement video and Maddie's channel will be in the description. Um, I will also link in my when I was working out what I was going to be reading for whatever thon, just in case you missed it and are interested. But this is basically what I came up with. This was my plan. This was the much deliberated plan. So with whatever thon, you have that like, you set your own personal goal. So I felt eight books was the goal for me for this month because I was reading quite a lot of chunkers and I thought that sounded like a challenge but achievable. Um, I then wanted to make sure I completed all of the bingo board and got all of these points in so there's eight books on here that were my reading plan. So the first book I did read was The Ship of Magic by Robin Hodd which was an excellent book. Um, so that meant I have then ticked off um, on a previous TBR. Ship of Magic was on my uh, June, no this is June, May. I was supposed to read this in May, ended up reading it in June, so that works. It was also on a favourite genre. This is a fantasy, it's also an epic fantasy, favourite genre, definitely sorted. Um, and then I am part of the um, the team I chose to be kind of connected to with this readathon is the TBR Travellers. At the moment, as I am filming this, I have no idea who won. Um, all my points have been locked in. I hope I have added something to the team, um, but we don't know. I don't know anything. So for now, um, whoop whoop, go TBR Travellers, beep beep, hope we win. Um, but you guys watching it probably already know who won. Anyway, um, all the pink uh, prompts here are the five ones specific to your team. So for TV Our Travellers, we had GPS on the cover, which was one of the best prompts because we are travelling, therefore we need our GPS. But the hosts of this channel, our team captains, are Gavin from um, Hash Train Your Gavin, Chris from Chris Peruses, and Sandra from Got A Thing For Things. And Ship of Magic has a G, a P and an S all on the title. So that worked amazingly. Book one done. It's good. It's going well so far. In May, I finished Words of Radiance, the second book in the Stormlet Archive. I then wanted to uh, read the novella that comes in between books two and three, which is Edge, Dan Edge Dancer. Hoping to read it in May, didn't get it. So I was reading it in June. It's not on here. It's not on the plan board because it was supposed to be May. However, I didn't want to read a book and not get any points for it. I wanted some bingos. So I thought, hold on, it is fine. What we will do. I have edge dancer prompts, prompts, I have edge dancer tags, whatever. Um, I thought I can prompt, maybe, maybe I can do a second board or at least just get some other points on. So I've swapped out because I wasn't sure whether I'd do Heartstopper or Dawn Shard for the prompt under 300 pages. So let's just move Heartstopper 2 and Dawn Shard out and also out of the different format. And let's put in edge dancer. So then I can get some points. So here we go. Edge Dancer has a little bit of sparkly yellow. 
Um, so that indicates, there we go, that indicates that there is other representation in here. There is neurodivergent representation in this book because there is um, a woman in here who takes in um, sort of lots of children that's, that, they're, um, that are kind of orphans and quite a lot of them um, have neurodivergent, I don't know what the word is, needs. They are neurodivergent. I don't know the official terminology, um, but those are mentioned in here. Um, we also seem to have quite a sort of cultural mix in this book. So that worked in this one. And I have a spare, not sure where it's going to go yet. So let's put it over here and we'll come back to it. So edge dance. So there we go. Doing well. Off to a flying start. So I'm like, Do you know what? Let's crack on. Let's get this one done. This is Dark Shades of Magic. It was dance, no. It is from the Shades of Magic trilogy. It is another fantasy by V.E. Schwab. And it's a conjuring of light. So this was the uh, uh, of and so anything with that has those words in the title. So we have a conjuring of light. Look, the book even has it in gold for me to see more clearly how helpful. Um, this has four different Londons and you travel through them via a portal. So it includes another specific um, TBR Travellers prompt, which is a portal fantasy. It's the third book in a trilogy, so it is continuing a series. Marvellous. Um, if you have seen any of my wrap-ups or any other videos, you know that I've caught this. I got here. I felt frustrated. I didn't want to. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to pause it. Let's just put it down. Let's park it. Let's read something else. I then had no idea what I wanted to read. As I started and got back into my groove again, I was like, I don't. I don't know. I've got other books I want to read. I'm not I'm not picking this up this month. So we have a pause. Essentially for this month it's a DNF. So that means I can't get any points for it because I barely read it. So there we go. I'm now book off. So what did I read when I needed to get back into my reading? I read I started reading The True Queen. And I started reading The Secret Sunshine Project. Secret Sunshine Project is already down here for the middle grade, which is a TBR prompt, TBR Traveller prompt, and recently hauled because um, this is one of the books I earned within the month of June, which is marvellous. And The True Queen is not on here. So The True Queen needs some, needs, needs to be put on the chart. So let's do that. And um, so the tree queen is part of a duology, therefore it perfectly fits. Oh, I've ruined it. I've taken the blue tack off. It fits continuous series. It also fits portal fantasy. Now it does technically have the of uh, uh, and. However, uh, by taking out a conjuring of light, I ended up screwing myself a little bit because uh, I had other books in here that that from the light would then hit the the so that wasn't going to work but luckily the secret sunshine project has a t on it and um, so as long as i read a book as long as i read this one first i could count the true queen for last uh, first uh, the last letter of the book you've read is the first letter of the new book so we have project and then the for the true queen so the true queen gets to go on that one and as you can see on this prompt we've got a little bit of a rainbow coloring here to indicate that this has got lgbtq plus representation in it we have a nice little sapphic romance side plot in this one which is marvelous and in the secret sunshine project um it's very it's got lots of LGBTQ rep bits in here, so that is wonderful. So there we go, we have prompts in. I do have this one now sticking out and not doing anything. Um, and also, as you might notice, I've only got two Secret Sunshine on there. So, you know, I could get some more points by putting a third one in because each book can count for three prompts on a bingo. So I appear to be out of blue tack. All right, I'm nicking some from this one here. It's 
all very well. Um, and then what did I put it for? What did I put it for? Bear with me, it's coming. I can't even see it. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah. Okay, so I changed things around. We'll come to that. We'll come to more changing things around. So I'll put it up here as well. So having read those two, I <laughs> then had many other options that I could then start picking up. I did start reading this one. I was like, well, this is a big one. I need to get a move on with this. You know, we're, I'm nearly halfway through the month and I've only got four books done. So I started reading Oathbringer. It became clear to me I wasn't reading as much as it as I hoped. You know, I was needing to kind of like bash out at least 100 pages a day if I was going to hope to get this book finished by the end of the month. That did not happen. This is a very big book. Stuff was going on. I wasn't reading it. So again, after... See, look, I've even marked out like goals I was trying to hit and it, it just didn't work. Um, where are we here? So I read that much and then went, I think, I think it's not going to work. I've got loads of books I want to get through. I don't think Oathbringer is going to work in this instance. And also I really wanted to enjoy it. So we paused Oathbringer. So that's, it is definitely paused. So, but essentially for this, that's kind of like another DNF that is no longer going to count so that means adventure or quest one word title and my poll pick have gone but luckily secret sunshine project it, there's a quest involved in that they're trying to organize a pride for uh, b's sister riley in this new village they end up going into so amazing we then have three an extra three points not, not three points, but we hit a third bingo thing for the Secret Sunshine Project. Um, it also means we're down one word title, but luckily Edge Dancer fits perfectly. I mean, we've still got this one to deal with, but we will get there. I'm obviously needing another poll, but we'll get there. Um, so then what do we have? Oh, we have this one here. Aya Kiefer's Daughter, another amazing book. And this one very simply hit everything that I was wanting it to. Colour on the cover, I had picked out an orangey colour. So we have some orange, orange. So that worked well. Um, it's a lesser genre. This is a YA thriller. I don't read a lot of thrillers. Definitely don't read a lot of YA thrillers. So that's marvellous. And this was released in 2021. Boom! Winner. We're doing well. So at the moment I am on five books I've read. So I'm nearly at my eight books target. And I have done one, two. Oh, look, we've got one bingo already. There we go. And then did I have another bingo? Yes, yes. And then we had another bingo here as well. All these purple splodges are um, Pers like personal goals, join a reading sprint, join the 48 hour readathon. So as long as you're hitting those ones as well as you're reading those books, then those count with the bingos. So we were kind of getting ourselves back on track with this one. Um, I then I then did another poll. I had a few books suggested. Um, I had a few, few books I put in the poll. What should I read? And the winner from the poll, quite helpfully, was Heartstopper. So Heartstopper was the one that people thought should win the poll. So there we go. We have Heartstopper one for a poll. Um, I then also included it for my other prompt for Heartstopper. Oh yeah. Um, I then moved this one out. We're getting back to this one later, so I'll put it over there. Um, it was also a host favourite, so that worked very nicely. Um, so I'm all covered apart from these two. So I picked up this one. <laughs> Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. Um, because I wanted another, I wanted another book that, um, this was actually on my, it's coming, June, June TBR. <laughs> this is on my June TBR, so I wanted to read it. It's one of the a series I wanted to reread this year um, and I felt it I felt like I wanted to read it so I did and that brings us nicely to the end of the bingo board so 
Percy Jackson and The Lightning Thief, I really wanted to have a book that had two of those small words in it for me to hit that prompt because it felt I'd hit it more thoroughly. And it is a uh, TBR veteran. I have had this on my list to read since the beginning of the year. So that definitely counts. So that is seven, seven books, seven books and Full House Bingo! Woohoo! Amazing. Let's clear the board and I'll keep going. As if I magic the board is clear. Uh, so you might have noticed I only hit two out of three prompts for Percy Jackson. So I put the third one on the new board. Percy Jackson definitely fits in the adventure or quest prompt, which is here. And then what did I read after Percy? Well, I read another middle grade. Um, I haven't got the book because I did it on audio. It is actually a uh, Rick by Alex Gino. So Rick fulfilled one word title. It also fulfilled again another TBR bet because it's been on my list since I read I read Melissa in January and then wanted to read the follow on book. I call it the Rick and Melissa du duo, I duology, I don't know if it has an actual uh, name, but that's just what I call it. Um, um, what else did I put it on? Oh yes, it, it's a middle grade. <laughs> da da! So there we go, we have one, two, three for Rick, another for Percy. No bingos as of yet, but it's very early days. Um, so on my list of books that I hadn't got to, Dawn Shard, which was also on my June TBR, um, I couldn't read because this comes after Oathbringer, which was on pause. So Dawn Shard had to be abandoned. Poor Dawn Shard. But I did read Heartstopper 2, which was on the original list, but I just took it off earlier because I wanted to fit Edge Dancer into its prompts. So I can very easily put Heartstopper on here. Um, this was recently hauled because I got it for my birthday. Um, this is also missing a piece of blue tack. It's all right, I have another one here. Bear with me. Oh, don't do that. I hope sugar paper is not the best for this. Blue tack always ends up sticking to it, which is very annoying. There we go. Um, it is a graphic novel, therefore it's a different format to I usually read novels, so that's not what I usually read. Marvellous! And it is under 300 pages. Winner! And I can't remember what this one was, but I did do this personal goal, which meant I got a bingo! Yay! Points, points, points! And then the final book to add into this mixture was one of the chunkers I wanted to read. It's continuing a series. It is The Memory of Souls, the third book in the Chorus of Dragons epic fantasy series by Jen Leons. This also happens to be a host favourite. Win, win, win. It also is continuing a series. Where's that one? Yeah. It is also the memory of souls win so the final book gives me a bingo up here a bingo down here so then i've got three extra bingos on the board which is brilliant and i round out the readathon by having read oh yeah that way round ten books so one two, ooh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, admittedly, when I gave myself the goal, um, I had two books that were chunkier. Um, and some of the books I've read are middle grades. So there was a novella, which replaced the novella I took out. This one is sort of more of a medium book. Um, I added an extra graphic novel and two extra middle grades. However, I did read over 500 pages that have not counted towards this. So I still think it's fine. So these are the books I finished and totally counted, but... 
combining the bit I read from Oathbringer, the bit I read from um, Court of Mist and Fury, um, that culminates in about 500 pages, plus I read a little bit of Dark Shade Magic, um, plus I read a few other bits and pieces as well, which I haven't even bothered mentioning because it was just a couple of chapters here and there. So I think that's totally fine and totally works. So that is my whatever thon. I had a brilliant time with this readathon. I really enjoyed hitting the bingos and <laughs> reworking the board and giving myself all of that challenge. And I also really enjoyed chatting on the Discord. It was so much fun. So I really hope TBR Travellers do well. Good luck, everyone. I'm now going to talk about the Magical Creatures Readathon, which is a readathon from Shell Space, which is a Discord set up by Jessie May from the channel Jessie May or Jessie May Books. Um, and it's kind of collaborative with lots of other people that are big um, fantasy and science fiction readers. And together, on this Discord, they put out this readathon. And now I've shrunk it. It's now a nine square bingo board. So the first prompt in the Magical Creatures readathon, all the prompts are based off magical creatures. If you want to know what my plan was for this readathon, I will link the TBR plan. You can also have fun playing guess what magical creature I am pretending to be and see if you can guess all the magical creatures. Spoilers, I'm about to tell you what they are now. So the first one was Dragon and for that you had to read a book with fire on the cover and should have thought about this better rather than having some still in precarious piles. The Firekeeper's Daughter has not only fire on the cover but also fire in the title so either way you wanted to do fire it works for Firekeeper's Daughter. So there we go, Firekeeper's Daughter, I hit that bingo board. We then had Cerberus, which was read a book that's part of a trilogy. For that, I chose A Country of Light, which, as I said, I didn't read. Um, none of the other books that I was reading or had coming up uh, were part of a trilogy. So I decided I didn't think I was going to hit all these prompts for this one. So I was like, well, that one can just be blank. So sadly, Cerberus did not get read. Um, we then had Cyclops, which was read a standalone. And for that one, I chose The Secret Sunshine Project by Benjamin Dean. Because as far as I know, there are no other books. It's not a series. So that worked well for Cyclops. Improving, improving with this one. Um, we then had read a book with, um, oh, yes. So this was Unicorn over here. So we had to read a book that features healing a healer or a doctor um, and originally i did have oathbringer um, for this one um, but as i've already mentioned uh, oathbringer did not get read either however the characters i was focusing on in oathbringer that hit this prompt um, one of the characters in edge dancer that is part of their gift with healing um, so that one is definitely covered by Edge Dancer. So I managed to save that one despite not reading my original plan. We then have read a book, um, we then have the prompt Hydra, which is read a book with a snake on the cover. Um, I thought I didn't have any when I was originally doing this, um, but very helpfully, I think it was Lucia on uh, Shell Space pointed out that the True Queen, which I'd been banging on about wanting to read, not only has a snake on the cover, but on the spine that was staring at me the entire time it was sat on one of my shelves. So, silly brain. Anyway, I did end up reading The True Queen this month, which was fantastic. So, I definitely hit the Hydra prompt. Looking much healthier this board now. The next prompt over here was, um, re what was the, what's the creature? It's a Kraken. So we had the Kraken for this one, and this is read an intimidating book. And for this one, I had the Ship of Magic. Um, not only is it chunky, it is also a book. If you've read Robin Hobb, you know that you're going to fall in love with the characters and they're going to have a really hard life and a tough time. And it's probably, you're probably going to cry and it's probably going to be traumatic. But I love it anyway, but it's still apprehensive when you start reading. So that was my intimidating read for the Kraken. Um, and I have a bingo! Woohoo! Excellent stuff. 
We then have, this was a leprechaun. So a leprechaun prompt was read a book that was under 300 pages. Originally I had, I think I've buried it. I had Dawn Shard for this one, but as I already said, didn't read Oathbringer, I can't read Dawn Shard because it comes after it. Um, and I've already used Edge Dancer, but luckily I read Heartstopper. So Heartstopper fits. And I've got another bingo. Cha-ching! And the next prompt was um, Chimera, which is read a book that blends two genres together. Um, and for that, the only book I had um, was um, A Court of Mist and Fury, which is a fantasy romance, blending fantasy with a romance. But I already said I did not finish reading that one. So nothing for that one. And again, I couldn't think of the books that were kind of on my radar that was going to work for this one. And um, the only one was probably The True Queen because it is a historical fantasy. Um, but that was very much going to be my Hydra prompt. So we just we just abandoned this one as well. So that's two abandoned prompts. But luckily the final one is Direwolf and that is read a bunk. <laughs> read a bunk. <sighs> We're nearly there. Come on, words. Read a book with multiple POV, that is points of view. And the memory of souls covers this beautifully. Um, I always knew there was like two different kind of storylines going on in this series. And in this book, you get loads of different points of view in this one. So that was awesome. Memory of Souls completes my magical creatures. Bingo board. And I also have Cha Cha Ching, another bingo. And then when I posted it on Shelf Space, it was pointed out that actually I didn't have three bingos. I had five because I totally forgot to count the diagonals. So great call on my part by deciding to stick with Hydra and not change it to the uh, Chimera. So there we go, that is my Magical Creatures and my whatever thon and I've just realised I didn't tell you how many points I ended up getting for whatever thon so going back into whatever thon mode, the, um, I, like I said my goal was eight books, I ended up reading ten and um, I already spoke about that, I'm totally okay with that despite me having switched in uh, graphic novels and middle grade. Um, but I ended up reading, not counting those 500 pages that didn't count, the ones that counted, I read 4,148 pages. I don't usually record the amount of pages I read a month, so I don't know if that's more than normal or not for me, but for those of you who kind of know what you average, then you'll have an idea of how much I'm reading. Um, and that gave me a total of 9,125 points for the TBR Travellers. So overall, with both these reader songs, despite this big pile of blips, pile of blips, I um, did end up reading, these are all my Magical Creatures reads, there we go, um, that was seven, yeah, seven books for Magical Creatures. Um, I had a brilliant reading month, I loved all of the books I ended up totally reading, and um, I feel very happy with what I've done for both the reader songs, so yay! July is going to be totally different, there's no read a I'm just chilling out, I'm catching up on books I want to catch up on already for August when I'm going to be read it up and TBRing it up as well. Thank you so much for sitting through this. If you did get to the end of this wrap up of read a where I go totally overboard and in depth with my reading journey and my prompts, I'm knocking over books here, um, then, then great, please type end so I know you got to the end of it and I know that people may or may not be interested in this stuff um, or do a, or what should we do for this one? Well, we've done a magical creature, so choose any magical creature um, or a rainbow, so rainbow for whatever thon, magical, any magical creature for magical, for magical creatures um, and stick them in so um, I can see, even if you don't want to make a comment, that um, you managed to watch the video to the end. Um, and for my usual thing, it's not too bad, we are nearly at 30 minutes, so we're going to stop before then. So please tell me if you joined in these readathons, if you enjoyed any of these books, and happy reading everyone, enjoy July!